Huh? Huh? Uh, what is this? Camera? Oh, what incredible piece of technology! How does this work? Oh, wow! Incredible! Okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Let's, um, let's bring it back to normal. So, uh, we have a lot to talk about uh, today, because I'm back. That's right, I am back. Uh, some of you might have been a little bit worried, you know, Aizen, you are... I, I, you are, you know, a degenerate who posts one video per day, and then all of a sudden, especially when 9.2 comes out, right before it comes out, you go missing for almost two weeks. Um, you know, I was worried about you. Yeah, me too, me too. But all of it has been resolved now. The people responsible have been punished harshly. So now I can be back uh, to making videos. Luckily, luckily, this is uh, this is still you know close enough to the release of the you know the real release of the patch. Once the the, the, the raid has come out, Mythic uh, has not come out yet. The the full season of um, PVP and Mythic Plus is not out yet, so we have we have still some time to go over all of the new things to talk about for the patch. Stuff like the PVE balance, the the, the numbers, etc. etc. We still have we still have some days to run through all of the different logs for heroic since we don't have we don't have that much right now, you know, it's still preliminary stuff. So uh, we have some time still. Now about about the camera itself, let's let's spend let's spend a minute, right? This is the first time in, in in a year and a half that I reveal myself, so it's worth it's worth pointing this out. No, it's not that in these two weeks I had a hermit Buddhist moment where I isolated myself and I went into meditation and I realized this was the path to life. Uh, the reason why I never quite bothered about using a camera was mostly just because of laziness, really. You know, using a camera means you have to tie together your feed uh, of your camera with the video, with what you are saying, what you're talking about. So it just it was just, it was just extra work. I can I can talk quite a lot, honestly. When I make a video, usually I can go 30, 40 minutes in a row in a single in a single take talking about whatever I'm supposed to be talking about. But still, with the camera added into the picture, it's it's more cuts. It's more. Uh, okay, it's more cuts, it's uh, more editing, etc, etc, so I was like, why? Why do you care if there is a little square in the bottom showing my face? I mean, it is... It is a pretty good face, to be fair, but, I mean, I don't think it was going to add too much to the video, but, you know, since since I, I figured out it wasn't going to be too much trouble, I tried a couple of times to see how much, you know, how much it would have added to my videos if I added a camera, an extra uh, layer of editing. It, it wasn't too much, it wasn't too bad, so I figured I might as well start, you know. In between this this two weeks of pause, I might as well, I might as well change something up. So, as also the camera being added, we have some more changes for the channel because on top of um, on top of adding the camera as an extra I figured out we could have gone we could have gone a little bit deeper and uh, transformed a little bit more into some normy uh, YouTube channel I, I figured I have been very lazy not just not just in the in the the usage of the camera itself but many other many other feats many other features from um, making a channel on YouTube perhaps you know streaming <clears throat> is the same thing I have lacked a couple of things that I think is going to be worth adding from this point forward, which is one, the Discord channel, my own Discord channel, and two, a Patreon account. So the, the, the reasons for these two additions. Number one, number one, we have Patreon. So Patreon adds this extra layer of security, of safety. Uh, it allows you to detach yourself from from YouTube, from YouTube revenue, YouTube is quite it's quite fickle. You know, it's quite volatile in how you can monetize your content. There is a lot of trouble around monetizing things like copyright infringement and the likes. So, being more you know dependent on another more safe feature compared to YouTube revenue is you know it's just safer. It's easier for you to make content without having to worry 
about about the YouTube rules, so to speak. And then also it allows you to not feel guilty. You know, it allows you to keep ad block, keep whatever ad block you are using, skip all of the advertisements on my channel. I don't watch advertisements, even to the channels I'm subscribed about on YouTube. So I hate ads on YouTube. I've always kept basically an ad block on. So you can do the same without feeling too much guilt because you are supporting me some other way without having to give me the, the ads revenue from YouTube. If you subscribe to Patreon, the other point for Patreon ties directly with Discord because subscribing to Patreon allows you to get into the Discord channel. Now, at the moment, I'm going I'm going to gauge the, you know, I guess the engagement of the Discord channel. At the moment, it is just for the subscriptions on Patreon, which are going to directly allow you entry to Discord. Perhaps I'm going to I'm going to let later on uh, more people you know without the need to subscribe to to patreon but even then patreon would still allow you to get into the special into the super special simping categories so uh, channels like feedback for the videos the channel for ideas suggestions and, and questions for the content related to wow and even the the soon upcoming content not related to wow that you will be able to discuss about on discord the reason why I want to keep Discord to subscribers only uh, from Patreon is because, unfortunately, I hate Discord. You know, I have been on pretty much all over the course of the years, all of the sub categories, all of the class channels, the class Discord channels of WoW, pretty much all of them, whenever I was playing a certain class, and they were all hideous cluster facts. It was just terrible. Um, Generally speaking, what would happen when you let everyone in is just a couple of people, four or five maybe, with really not a lot of things to do every day, would just park themselves 24-7 on the Discord channel and just monopolize it. You know, they would turn it into into their personal turf. They would basically act like they were the, the rulers of that channel and just shit up the entire place. You know, every discussion had to be about them. They would have to monopolize everything and it would just turn into bad, bad discussion. So essentially, I'm sorry, but I don't trust you enough to, to, to not turn uh, my channel as well into complete shit if I allow everyone in. So this, um, this requirement of a subscription from Patreon basically guarantees that at the very least you have to have some some investment. You know, you have to you have to be a little bit more into the type of content if you want to get into the Discord channel and you're not just coming in to, to ruin the entire place. So that is the general reason as to why uh, initially the Discord channel is going to be for Patreon subscriptions only. What is also going to be allowed for you to get from the Patreon is, of course, things like community polls, things like content-related videos, specific, you know, unique to Patreon itself, as well as asking some questions related to other content. You can still do it on Patreon as well. We will not just be making videos about WoW forever, so eventually this has got to change. If you have some interesting ideas about that, that is also going to be welcome. That is what Patreon is going to allow you to do, together in combination with the Discord channel. Now, now that we have gotten this um, double, I guess triple announcement, the camera, the Patreon and the Discord out of the way, this is what we're going to get in the future. Now, I I'm, not, I'm not too sure I'm going to have my laziness levels low enough to keep making videos with the camera always on. This time around, perhaps I feel particularly jolly about, about the situation, so I put the camera on. We will see eventually in the future. Let's just say, let's just say I am more prone. I am more, I guess, positive towards using the camera. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I know Zoomers wanting to, to watch the reactions of the one you are, you are listening to, perhaps. I, I'm not too sure about it. I'm way too old to realize what does this add. But if it's, if it's a welcome feature from the, the viewer base, from the community, then fine. I will, I will keep using it. Now, these were the the three announcements for today. So this is what we have on the day of my return. Of course, you know me by now. This is not just what we have only for today. We're going to get another video about WoW, not just this uh, this puny little announcement. We're going to be talking a little bit about, well, you know, about the patch being out. That's kind of the, the argument of the day. 
end of, of the week. So that's what we will be investigating on. So with this being said, we can call this video to a close, of course. Thank you guys, as usual, for watching the video and for helping to grow the channel. If you want to continue to do more, of course, you can still like on the video as well as comment down below because this is what apparently, I'm still not sure why, but apparently this is what YouTube demands. And then, of course, as usual, you can also subscribe to the channel because because it's the first video in a while. I'm going to let anyone subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to put any uh, restrictions for today. So thank you again, guys. See you guys soon. And in the meantime, you caught me. You caught me in a pretty rare moment because right now, right now, it's like 10:20 a.m. That's it's not often I am awake this early. You know, this is a treat.